The following comments are addressed to the United States Food and Drug Administration. And the importance of this federal department cannot be overstated, for without prudent regulation by the state of consumables made available to the nation, public health and safety is at stake. And without restraint from administrations such as these, people and their businesses are easily oppressed, and as a result, the economy suffers. Today we review a most sensitive balance between the free market economy that we cherish and that the world has come to know against the plights of those established industry representatives that have been some of its most distinguished beneficiaries. Today we find ourselves at the dawn of a new millennia and well into the 21st century facing foreseeable extinction by way of booming global population and very limited planetary resources. In addition to the harsh environmental reminders of our increased needs for sustainable industry, we face ongoing changes in the digestive capabilities of the constantly adapting human genome. In the year 2019, nearly 70 percent of American citizens are troubled by varying degrees of lactose intolerance, a digestive disorder characterized by the biological rejection of certain compounds present in mammal lactation. Vast industry has taken root in the practice of producing said animal products by way of husbandry and environmental destruction. In response to these significant economic and biological developments, unprecedented opportunity is abound within the U.S. economy. Plant-based milks, cheeses, butters, yogurts, and other popular food products are on the rise for no other reason than because the American people are demanding them, and they're doing so by purchasing these more nutritious, more sustainable, and cleaner foods, which have surpassed conventional dairy products in every quantifiable measure where matters of healthy body and a healthy environment for all of us are concerned. Unsurprisingly, while the existing dairy industry adapts to this new marketplace, it has extended unwarranted and unwelcomed influence into every branch of our government. After having already been dismissed by the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals over the use of the term milk on plant-based food products, the dairy industry is, at this very moment, lobbying to legislatures and public representatives all throughout this country in an attempt to pass new laws granting exclusive use of popular words on proprietary goods and marketing material. This is not a matter of deception or manipulation on the part of plant-based food companies. These environmentally destructive and inhumane dairy businesses have already succeeded with this agenda in the European Union. And yet, the sales of these very same plant foods that had formerly been using said familiar terms on packaging are on the rise year after year. The dairy industry is now attempting to undermine our most basic American freedoms by subverting the court system and lobbying this administration so it may gain an advantage over competitors in the marketplace. And this is far from the first attempt made by these individuals, the first of which was a series of some 36 lawsuits against a New York-based company that had been producing soy-based creamers for soldiers during World War II after a national dairy shortage. Those products, and others like them, were marketed afterward using the term soy milk, which had been entered into the English language by the U.S. Department of Agriculture in the year 1897. The dairy industry has lost every such lawsuit in the United States since then, as these lobbyists have been attempting to censor their competitors' packaging for nearly a century. Additionally, milk, cheese, and butter are far from the first words in the English language to adopt new meaning over time. And while it is vital that this administration maintains a firm regulatory stance on food products distributed within and outside of this nation, it is not the role of the FDA or any body of the American government to regulate the use of language within our society. For that is the first constitutional right, to speak freely, without hesitation. While other governments around the world may be eager to enact various censorships and declare opposition in private matters such as this, 
dictating to privately owned businesses that where it's usable for products sold in a free marketplace, the United States is a government by its people. And the people demand more plant foods and the freedom to label them however we please. This issue is not about misleading the public. This is about corruption originating from existing industries that are facing decline resulting from the modernization of our food system. Allow the economy to function as it was meant to, without the unnecessary oversight of centralized government, a practice established by the framers of our Constitution, which has led this economy to be the most successful that the world has ever known.